Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll cover the setting up of preset clouds, the new preset clouds within DCS. Now when you first start a brand new mission, the time and weather, which is selectable here, starts with the light scattered one variant. Now to explain this area here, the altitude in feet or meters, depending on how you've got it set up, is selectable for the base of the clouds. So you can adjust it on a slider. And that will vary with the, the different types of clouds that are available. Well, let's have a look at those now. Let's click on there. Now if you click on nothing, which is what will appear when you open an old mission, it should say nothing and it will have all your winds and clouds settings like this. I'll click on there. It will be set up exactly as it was historically. So you'll have the feet, the thickness, the base, the density, etc, etc. Now the presets are the best settings for the clouds as it currently stands. Because as you know, this is all work in progress. So let's go back. Now as you can see, there are quite a few presets. And if you wanted to add rain into any of them, because you'll notice the rain element is missing here. Scroll down and you will see three options here, overcast rain one, two and three. So you can still add rain to your mission. And what I will do is I will select scattered five and I will click OK. And that gives us the scattered five selection. And I'll lower the altitude at the base of it down to 6890. And that's basically it. You can still set up wind speeds. You can still set up turbulence if you want to add fog, dust and smoke. All selectable and that's how very simple the new presets are so let's go and have a look at those in sim now and here we are in mission with clouds broken 5 as you can see it's quite overcast but that's how it works and you can see that it actually casts shadows as well over the ground and over the sea So let's go and do a little bit of cloud surfing. And there we go, we're starting to transition into the thinnest layer at the base. As you can see, the visibility is slowly decreasing, which is what you would expect to see in clouds. Anyway, we've made it through the cloud layers and we're coming up and we can do a bit of cloud surfing. As you can see, they look really nice. And that's that. So essentially what I'll do now is I'll show you another element um, for setting up, not setting up the clouds themselves, but um, settings for clouds that if you have uh, an issue with frames per second, maybe you've got a potato PC like I have, um, then you can set the cloud levels and densities. So let me show you that now. To go to the settings that I mentioned, we will come out of the mission editor and we'll go to the little wheel icon, the little cog icon at the top there. And you'll see down here we have cloud settings. So you've got the option of setting them to low, standard, high or ultra. Just depends on what sort of frames per second that you get out of your system and how your system's built, how much RAM you've got, etc, etc. So you'll probably have to play with those a little bit. Uh, just to get the right settings just for you. Whilst we're here, at the same time, there's been introduction of forest visibility, forest scale, de sorry, forest details factor, and scenery details factor. And smoke density we can now increase even further if we wish. But you'll be able to increase the, the detail factors uh, for scenery, forest, and forest visibility. Again, so I hope you find this particular video useful and helpful, and I'll catch you later. Ciao for now.